welcome you to the second part of the sprite tutorial here. I'm going to try and end around with this since I keep losing the audio on this. So I'm going to kind of jump right into this one. This is part two. Okay, so we left off here. We were talking about the sprite movement, which remember was defined by the, the joystick movement. When I showed you earlier, if you move in the joystick, it's changing the position. So just look at the first video if you want to see that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at special registers 253 and 254. I'll explain those to save some time here and try to prevent reiterating it. So 253 right here is the horizontal. So horizontal means going backward and forward. And then 254 is the vertical. And vertical means just going up and down. So keep that in mind. Okay, so basically here, let me make this a little larger. the resize it. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit larger. Okay, so basically here we're looking at the horizontal position or 253 and then we're going to introduce a register here called increment which is what 230 does. 253 is going to increment. Now the easiest way to look at it is increment on in your computer's memory means to go forward and this means it means to go down. If you're going horizontally, which we are in this case, it means to go to the right. Remember that. So basically that's what this is doing, is it's moving it to the right and incrementing it. Oops. You look back here also on the Excel chart here, you will see that 96, oh excuse me, 96, 230 is increment the accumulator. And here's an example. X equals X plus 1. It means to reiterate it by 1 each time. So basically... It's just kind of, you know, incrementing and s slow positioned each time the sprite's moving. So every time you're moving the joystick that way, you're going to see him moving, you know, that direction. So. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing, we're defining the left movement. Same thing, we're going to use register 253, and we're going to store in the left movement. Now for left, we use something called decrement, or DEC, and just like increment, decrement, means decrement the accumulator so it means do it in the opposite direction so look at an example here x1 equals x1 minus 1 which means if we're decrementing we're basically going the opposite direction so as we're moving the joystick to the left we're decrementing going backward and that's causing the sprite to move backwards since we're stored in location 253 which is where we're storing a horizontal position which i showed you on the, the first screen right here 253 and 254 the registers we're using and we're going to return from the subroutine means just basically when you hear an RTS it means go back here go back to basic and just wait for the next loop which means just look at the, the controller again okay so the next one here is the, the down movement and this is very similar to the first one I'll just type them in again to save some time here it means increment 254 and I just explained that earlier but basically when you're moving down you're incrementing, and this time it's stored in memory location 254. We need to keep track of two memory locations, otherwise one will overwrite the other. So 253 is horizontal, 254 is vertical. So always remember that whenever you want to move a sprite, you always want to set two separate registers for X and Y. So X and Y, or 254. So basically here, we're moving into the next position and let me just kind of list this out a little bit so you can kind of see a little bit more here from where we started off at the beginning see if I can get it all on the same screen here hopefully right there it's pretty close okay so if you look here at the top let me get back over there you see where it says 123 remember I showed you in the first video if you have to go watch it again when you move into joystick in certain positions according to this chart right here it's going to tell you what the number is going to be. Can you see that? 126 moving up, 125 is down, 123 is left, and 119 is right, unless I have that backwards. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so basically that's what that means. 123 means go to the left label. LFT is a label. It also means it represents an address. This line is actually an address in the computer's memory. So we're calling it left, which means store it in that memory location, 253 which is horizontal and if we're not doing horizontal then we must be doing or if we're not doing left then we must be doing right um i think i erased it here put it back in right so if we're going right 
we're going down, well actually I did right, so the right is right here, I said that backward, and left is the next one down, which means we're decrementing, so, let me finish this off, put the rest of the lines on here so we can finish it off here, okay, that's the end right there, perfect, okay, so once we're done with the down position, we're going to use the up position, since now we're moving the sprite up, and up is using 254 again, because remember, up and down again, is your vertical and then we're going to decrement 254 back to the chart if you need it again 254 for the lookup table is decrement the accumulator which means basically move x1 backward or x equals x minus 1 basically it says if you're moving the um if you're moving him down or excuse me if you're moving him up then it means um the decrement the accumulator or go backwards so basically it's going up so he's going up as you're decrementing, and he's going down as you're incrementing. So that's how it works. All right, and let's go back to the example and finish it. Feel free to post your questions if you have any questions here. I'll, show, I'll demonstrate it in a video, which obviously a visual example is going to be the best results anybody can see anyway. So you know, make sure this is entered in again. Okay, and we'll run it, and you'll see it in action. Now this is the first program we used in the very first Machine Language Sprites video. The first one just showed you how to load them to the screen, it doesn't do anything. But now, when we move the joystick up and down, you'll see the player moves down. And if you move them right, he moves right. Move them left, he moves left. Basically that's all this. Now when you come here to a boundary here at 255, he'll flip instead of going all the way across the screen here. He'll flip right here because we still need to figure out how to, to calculate the most significant bit in this position, but I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't want to add too much. I'll separate this into other sprite videos. This one's going to be really short. I just wanted to show you. That's how you move it. Okay, so once again, as we're moving him up and down, that's 254. As we're moving him left and right, that's 250, um, 253, which is the stored position where he's going to be moving him at. I should have, just now thinking, I should have probably positioned it on the screen to show you, but I didn't want to add too much to this program, but I just wanted to show you that. Basically, it's a real simple sprite movement. Now, this one does require constant clicking of the joystick. That's because in a simulator, it's always jumping out of the subroutine. Remember the RTS? So every time it's jumping out, it's only going to move it by one position each time. To get real fluid movement to continue the loop, you have to set it up inside of jump subroutines, 